Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the Pika Tracer activity, troubleshooting serial interfaces. Here we can see our addressing table. Also, uh, our objectives in this Pika Tracer: uh, diagnose and repair the physical layer, the data link layer, and the network layer. Also, we will uh, go through the scenario here. Uh, you have been asked to troubleshoot a WAN connection for a local telephone company. Uh, the telco router uh, should communicate with the four remote sites but none of them are working use your knowledge of the osi model and a few general rules to identify and repair the errors in the network coming to part one diagnose and repair the physical layer in that step one diagnose and repair the cabling examine the addressing table to determine the location of the dce connections Coming to the addressing table, here we can see that uh, in the side of a telco, we can see uh, all these interfaces all uh, have this DCE. Each serial connection has a DCE and a DTE connection. To determine if each telco interface is using the correct and uh, correct end of the cable, look on the third line of output following the show controller's command. We are going to give this command to show controllers, then interface type and interface number. So reverse any cables so that are incorrectly connected. Uh, in a real network settings, the DCE, which sets the clock rate, is a typically a CSU DSU device. Coming to the topology, our router uh, telco, CLI. Here we can see uh, different types of interfaces show ip interface brief and here we can see serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 and serial 0 slash 1 slash 1 right so now we are going to give the command show controllers serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 first of all we are going to verify this interface yes here we can see that the third line uh, it's showing DCE right now we will give the next interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 coming to the third line yes it's DCE now we will come to the next interface that's 0 slash 1 slash 1 here we can see it's not DCE it shows uh, it is a DTE so we must uh, change this connection from DTE to DCE next we will give 0 slash 1 slash 0 and we will verify yes here we can see it's DCE Coming to the topology, here we can see uh, the interface serial 0 slash uh, 1 slash 1 and here we can see the clock rate on the side of R4 should be uh, in the side of uh, this telco. So we are going to uh, reverse the connection. So what I am going to do here is uh, we will delete this connection. Coming to connection, here we are going to select serial DCE. We will start from this telco serial 0 slash 1 slash 1 to serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 now we will check the yes now we can see clock set to telco coming to step 2 diagnose and repair incorrect port connections examine the addressing table to match each router port with the correct telco port Hold the mouse over each wire to ensure that the wires are connected as specified. If not, correct the connections. Coming to the topology, here we can see this interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. And other side on R1, here we can see serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. It's correct. And coming to the next connection, it's uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. And coming to R2 side, here we can see it's 0 slash 0 slash 0. Yes, but here we can see it should be connected to uh, the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. So here we can see this connection uh, is, uh, I mean, the, it, this connection connected incorrectly. So we must change it to 
we are going to click here and we are going to connect to serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 yes and coming to the next connection it's serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 and other side we can see serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 yes it's correct on r3 and coming to uh, the last connection serial 0 slash 1 slash 1 to serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 on r4 yes it's correct coming to step 3 diagnose and repair ports that are shut down show a brief interface summary of each router ensure that all of the ports that should be working are not administratively down enable the appropriate ports that are administratively down coming to the topology itself uh, we can identify uh, uh, this connection from telco to r3 is down and all other three connections are up so we have to verify this connection coming to telco here we are going to give show IP interface brief and here we can see the details here we can see serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 is up protocol also up coming to serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 it's up and here we can see serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 is uh, uh, down and we can see protocol also down it's not administratively down it's simply down so we have to check the other side we have to go to r3 show ip interface brief and here we can see that serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 here we can see it's administratively down yes so we must enable uh, this uh, interface now coming to the configuration we have to go to that interface uh, that is serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 configure terminal interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and we have to give the command no shutdown yes here we can see interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 changed state to up now we will come to part 2 diagnose and repair the data link layer in that step 1 examine and set clock rates on DCE equipment all of the DCE cables should be connected to telco yes that already we have done and we verified show the running configuration of telco to verify that a clock rate has been set on each interface set the clock rate of any serial interfaces that requires it coming to the router telco cli here we are going to give the command show running config oops we will go to enable and here we will give the command show running config and we will verify the interfaces serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 yes here we can see that here we can see its uh, clock rate set uh, 20 lakh but here we can see the default one clock rate 40 lakh and for this interface it's 40 lakh so we will uh, change this clock rate of serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 interface from this uh, 20 lakh to 40 lakh and coming to the last interface interface serial 0 slash 1 slash 1 here we can see it's 20 lakh so we will change these two interface uh, clock rate from 20 lakh to 40 lakh coming to the configuration configure terminal we will go to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and we will set the clock rate yes and now we will go to the next interface interface serial 0 slash 1 slash 1 and we will set the clock rate yes now we will verify the clock rate on all these interfaces show running config and here we can see that serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 yes and serial 0 slash 1 slash 1 now we will come to step 2 examine the encapsulation on DCE equipment all of the serial interfaces should be using HDLC as the encapsulation type examine the protocol setting of the serial interfaces 
So we are going to give this command show interface, then interface type, then interface number. Change the encapsulation type to HDLC for any interface that is set otherwise. We will check all the interfaces. So we will start with this telco, CLI. Here we will give we will give the command show interfaces serial zero slash zero slash zero, and here we can see that encapsulation HDLC. Now we will come to serial zero slash zero slash one. And here we can see encapsulation HDLC. Next we will give 0 slash 1 slash 0. Here we can see its encapsulation is HDLC. And coming to the last ones, serial 0 slash 1 slash 1. Yes, here also it's correct. Now we will check with other routers R1, R2, R3 and R4. Coming to R1, enable show interfaces, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Here we can see encapsulation is HDLC. Coming to R2, CLI, enable show interfaces, serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. And here we can see encapsulation is HDLC coming to R3. Enable show interfaces serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Here also we can see encapsulation is HDLC and coming to the last router R4. show interfaces serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 here we can see the encapsulation is a ppp now we are going to change this encapsulation type uh, from ppp to hdlc uh, in this router r4 coming to r4 cli Configure terminal. We have to go to that interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. And here we are going to give encapsulation HDLC. Coming to part 3 Diagnose and repair the network layer. Step 1 Verify the IP addressing. Show a brief interface summary of each router. Check the IP addresses against the addressing table and ensure that. They are in the correct subnet with their connecting interface. Correct any IP addresses that overlap or are set to the host or broadcast address. First of all, we will verify in the router telco. CLI, here we are going to give the command show IP interface brief and here we can see the IP address details. Uh, we will match with our addressing table. Here we can see uh, the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. The address is 64.100.34.17. Yes, it's correct. Uh, in the addressing table, coming to the serial 0 slash 0 slash 1, the address is 64.100.34.21. Here we can see that. Coming to the next interface, serial 0 slash 1 slash 0, 64.100.34.25. Yes, it's correct. And coming to the last interface, serial 0 slash 1 slash 1, 64.100.34.29. So here we can see that. Yes, it's correct. Now we will check with other routers coming to R1. Show IP interface brief. And here we can see the address. 64.100.34.17 oh it should be 18 34.18 so here we can see uh, for this interface so serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 in this router r1 the ip address is assigned incorrectly so we must change this address now we will verify on r2 cli here we are going to give a show ip interface brief it's 
yes it's correct now we will come to r3 show ip interface brief here we can see it's 34.26 yes it's correct coming to r4 show ip interface brief it's 34.30 yes it's correct now we will correct the ip address in this uh, uh, router r1 configure terminal we have to go to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and here we are going to give the ip address 64.100.34.18 now we have to give the subnet mask 255.255.255.252 now we will verify this show ip interface brief and here we can see that coming to the last step verify connectivity between all routers we will ping from uh, this uh, telco router to these routers r1 r2 r3 and r4 one by one coming to telco here we are going to give the ping command to the router r1 here is the address Yes, here we can see success rate is 100%. Now we will ping to R2. The address is 34.22. Yes, the success rate is 100%. Now we will ping to R3. It's 34.26. Yes, it's 100%. And uh, finally to the router R4, it's 30 yes it's 100 percent well uh, that's all in this packet tracer activity troubleshooting serial interfaces here we can see completion status 100 out of 100 friends if you have any doubt in this packet tracer activity please comment below also if you like my video give a thumb and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into our gmail thank you